15 continued by 17. I just knew that God, you know, gave me a call and uh, the, the move of God in terms of like reformation was inside me mm -hmm. to create a sound that is not the normal sound. So that desire to change and bring a renaissance, a reformation in, in worship, in songs was always there right from when I was a toddler, you know, at a little stage. So basically, I spent most of my youthful teenage stage praying and uh, spending time in locking myself to study the Bible, to, to, to pray and to just... I did something very strange. I refused to watch TV and refused to listen to radio for three years mm -hmm. because I wanted to tune my ears spiritually to capture something that was original not influenced by what I hear. Mm -hmm. And within that time, I think 1995 to 96, 95, 96, 97, was when God broke me forth into realms of future African sounds. So different sounds, different expressions, innovations, intelligence, and spiritual intelligence and creativity came around me. So that birthed the foundation of the sounds that I have. And I can tell you that I captured over 1,000 songs within that season of four years, okay. between 1995 to, to 2000. Mm -hmm. So those sounds are still, they have not re released them, mm -hmm. 10,000 sounds there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that has been my inspiration, hunger for God, longing for God, desiring people to see what I saw and what I was seeing. So that led me to a deep worship where God has inspired me with very deep songs and uh, yeah, songs that are blessing people and really people use for covers. Oh yeah, covers, speaking yeah. about songs, and, and 